Coach Chang, thanks for, uh, thanks for t taking the time out to talk about the uh, new upcoming uh, Lakers program. Yeah. Um, so I guess first question is, uh, why did you say yes? <laughs> you know, it, it takes a lot to leave the city. Uh, I grew up in Scarborough all my life been in the greater Toronto area. Right. And I always said to myself, if I were to leave the city, it has to be for a good reason. Right. And Nipsey was that reason. Right. And it was, you know, with the administration there, the athletic director and his staff, the university itself, with, you know, its degrees programs, the campus life, and now the athletics, you know, and the support of the city. So all the pieces are here for us, for myself to build a program. So I so said, I can't say no to this. Of course, of course. Now, I guess with, with, with being handed the reins, what are uh, oh, what, what are your okay, what's your vision for the program in this first year? Um, the, the real vision is to really establish a culture, of course, build a program. Uh, there's nothing to, to model it from, no template prior. Right. So everything's really starting from the bottom. Right. And uh, as we're building it up, we want to ensure that we're, we're embracing the process of building our culture. Right. Establishing somewhat of a tradition and a history. Um, so it's a very exciting time because you know everything we do is the first time. So it's going to be it's going to be a trial and errors, but we're going to have success along the way as long as we keep embracing the process every day. Okay, great, great. Now you did mention the process, and part of the process is recruiting. Um, that's always going to be a dogfight in the OUA yeah. uh, with with the many big schools in the province. Um, but first of all, address how how you how you dealt with that being this first time program. Oh uh, well, I looked at how Nepotism recruited me, and, and what sold me, uh, because what sold me is the reason why I'm there, and um, that's what I'm going to sell to our student athletes and their families. Uh, so that's that's the first thing. The second thing was the city. The city so vibrant. Uh, a lot of people may have a misconception of Thunder Bay and North Bay. Right. Uh, so coming up to North Bay, where it's a 60,000 people population, that's such a fantastic city with great people. So that's what really sold me. And uh, what, in terms of recruiting student athletes, I got to sell them on me first and foremost. At the end of the day, the coaches, so the players are going to play for the coach. And the parents are going to trust the coach to take care of their son. Uh, so that was a part of it. And of course, all the facilities that we have, the degree, the university itself, along with the city, that was a big selling point. Okay, now I guess with that in mind then, um, you've brought in some talent. Um, into into this incoming freshman class, well, the, the first freshman class for your yeah. program. You know, for, for us as, as a staff, we identify character traits uh, that we really want that will help us build this program and establish our culture. And with those character traits, if talent came with that, then fantastic. We're very fortunate to get both with our recruiting class, starting with Will out of Calgary. Right. Uh, Will was formerly in Ottawa, and now he's, he's originally from Calgary, moved to Ottawa, and went back to Calgary. So we're very fortunate to have him at a 6'3 guard with speed, athleticism, and a, shoot, a very good shooter. Along with that, Michael Andrewman from Schoenberg at 6'8 gives, gives us some size. Philip Music uh, at 6'4 the point guard gives us some really good size and the shooting ability and his decision making. Uh, Marvin Nagundi at 6'9, you know, right. great size, great strength, right. freakish athletic size. Right. Marcus Clement, another one at 6'7, who can score the ball, who can play inside and out. Right. Um, along with other guards with Jake and Ishmael, you know, in yep. the league. You know, it's, it's, those are important recruits. Well, what was your pitch to these players as well as the other ones that you brought in? The key thing is they're going to develop. They're going to develop. And uh, I sold them on how they do develop as people, as students, and as a basketball player. Because uh, that's where my passion is. You know, is develop the individual in all aspects of their life. And of course, they're coming here for academics and basketball. That's what they're going to develop in. And that's going to be an everyday process that we develop them into. And for their families, they, that's what they want to hear. That's what they want from their son leaves at home. Right. They come in a better man. And right. that's our mission. It's something that I didn't have to sell too much because that's who I am. Okay. That's what they would get from me every single day because I can't fake that that's who I am. Give me, give, give me a few of the things that you're most looking forward to as being the head coach this season. Um, I would say it's really being the overall product of the entire process. I think that's important. I've always been part of the process okay. to the head coach's vision of the overall product. Yeah. So now moving to one seat over, right. um, seeing overall product and trying to think about you know, what's the process, how we're going to do things, how we're going to teach things, how we're going to emphasize things, 
um, what, what's really our priority at this point for, from a short term to a long term project. So okay. it's really that product that I really enjoy. Okay. Because I had so much years of experience with the process. Right. And it goes hand in hand now. Right, right. Offense and defense, there's some things in mind. I'm going back to what you said about making all the decisions. I think for me, going my philosophy this year is not making all the decisions myself. Okay. You know, it's really establishing my staff and empowering them, and giving them responsibilities to help make those those overall decisions. Okay. And I think whatever I decide is its collective decision. That's extremely important to me. Okay. That my staff and I, if we're going to make this this decision, it's our decision, not just my decision. Right. So that's where my philosophy is at. It's kind of being that leader, um, helping them follow, and eventually get them the reins of leadership, so I can follow as well. Okay. You know, so that's the philosophy, and that extends to our players. Okay. I always said to my staff, you know, whatever who, who we are. How we embrace this process, how we build this culture, our players, our student athletes have to be an extension of us. Meaning the administration, uh, the hiring committee, and the administration people as well meet to, to today, um, they're so supportive, um, they're so excited, you know, that they wanted the basketball team for the, for the past 10 years. Um, it's, fun, it's finally come and you know they're, they're impatient in the way they can't wait to see the ball in the air. Right. But they're also patient with uh, helping us and what we need to do prior to that. Uh, so seeing the administration, how supportive they are. Uh, I remember one of my mentors saying to me, you know, Chris, your program will only go so far as your administration will take you. Right. And seeing where administration is taking us for the next couple of years, especially as a brand new program, it's no wonder why we're able to get the recruits that we're able to get, get the support that we're able to get, and give us a program to start off with the right tools and the right pieces. Right, okay. And I guess uh, with, with, with regard to the community itself, you did mention that they're very excited. It's a very, it's a very exciting community, to ha and, and they're excited to have this program you know, in, in for the school. Um, give us an idea right now as to what that is for us who aren't there and have no idea. Being a brand new program, entering the CIS with no years of experience prior in the, in the CCAA, going right to the CIS, it's really embrace the process because we're going to do a lot of things to make this experience really special, uh, to make their experience as a student athlete at the university uh, special. So they have to embrace the process, they got to be respectful of the process, and they got to embrace it together. I think that's important. So I think when we do that, uh, we're going to have a lot of fun building this program together. Perfect, perfect. Right. Thanks a lot, Chris. Good, man. Appreciate Thanks. it. All right, Philip. So you are a part of the uh, historical yeah. first uh, first uh, recruiting class for Nipissing. Yes. So first question, man. Um, yeah. Why? 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 Why the, the the Lakers? I chose Nipissing first of all because it's a first year program. You know, I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to play for a coach like Coach Chris Chang. He's a great guy. I've known him since I was in the third grade, and me and him have a really good relationship, which was really key for me to come to Nipissing. Yeah. And, you know, being a first-year program, we're going to be remembered for, you know, a long, long time. And, you know, I just felt like that was something I couldn't pass up on. What are you looking to expect from yourself heading into this season? Myself personally or yes. as a team? Yourself personally first. Um, I just want to go out there and be, and be a leader for the team. Um, I want to go out there and win as many games as possible. I feel like, you know, a lot of people are doubting us, you know, because we're all freshmen. And that play, it's basketball. So we just got to go out there and play ball, really. So I just want to go out there and we're playing at a tough conference. Carlton and right. Ottawa first year. So it should, be, it should be great. It should be good. Have you met with any of the other players who are coming uh, in? Yes, I have. Because we work out every Thursday down at Vaughn Secondary. So okay. I got a chance to meet them. And I knew a couple of guys from before, from last year. And stuff, so okay. I'm, really, I'm really close with the guys. Okay, so seeing that you're on the ground level, you know what's what what's coming in with uh, with, with with the talent. Yeah. What do you see for, for the team going in? Honestly, I feel like we have a good players from one through five. We have a good big man. We have two good big men. You know, we have a couple of shooters on the team. You know, and I feel like we have depth on the team. Eight, nine guys who can really play. So beautiful. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Phil. Appreciate Thanks, it, man. Appreciate it. Thanks.